Katie with your Galco TV Tech Tip. To size a line reactor for either a single VFD or a group of VFDs, the first thing you should do is find out if all the drives start and stop together. If so, begin by adding up all of the motor's FLA ratings and size a line reactor for the total amps that all of the drive will use. However, drives that are running independently will require you to size a line reactor for the motor amps of each application independently. It is important to note that line reactors only work efficiently when used in the range of the amps that they are rated for. For example, if you have a line reactor that is rated for 30 amps, but you will typically only pull 12 amps through it, it is not going to be filtering correctly. Ideally, in this scenario, you will want to be closer to that 25 or 30 amp range. A better choice for the 12 amp example would be something rated for around 15 amps. Basically, line reactors work most optimally the closer they are to their operating range. It is also useful to know that line reactors can exceed their rated amperage without instantly shorting out, unlike some solid devices. Since these use a coil of wire wrapped around a steel laminated core, they take some time to heat up excessively. You can often safely pull 200% of the rated amps for up to 10 seconds per hour or 150% for up to 1 minute per hour without damaging the reactor. Though of course it is still best to stay within the rated range. If you have any questions that you would like to ask us, you can do so at our technical help forum located at forum.galco.com or for more information, always head over to our website, galco.com.